Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. Also make sure to hit that bell icon so you can be notified of every time I upload a new video. So today we're going to talk about some more drama involving Danielle Kahn. If you are unfamiliar with all of the situations that have come up with Danielle, let me give you a quick background. Danielle is a social media influencer on both Instagram and on Twitter. She claims to be 15 years old and her mother supports that claim. But recently, her father has come out and issued a statement on Facebook claiming that she is not 15, that she is actually 13, which is what all of us have been assuming all along. There also has been pictures online that surfaced of her mom in the hospital with a new baby in her arm on the day that Danielle was born, which was 317 of 06, which would make her 13. If you haven't had a chance to see Danielle's dad's post that was on Facebook, I'm going to include the screenshots of his message in the next few slides. So as you can see in the statement that Danielle's dad put out that she is 13 and that he has never approved of the social media lifestyle that her and her mom are doing and he doesn't like the fact that her mom is allowing it and he actually says that he believes that she is pushing her to do it. But then Danielle went on her Instagram to issue a statement about her dad's post. And then after watching Spill Sesh's video on Danielle, I found out that she didn't even write the letter page of Danielle's response to her father, the left half of the post was actually a plagiarism of a online article that was titled, A Thank You Letter to My Absent Father. And literally, she just copy and pasted that letter onto her Instagram story. She didn't even write that herself. So you can see as I lay these two screenshots, one from Danielle's story and then one from the actual article on top of each other, that they are literally copied word for word. And then on the second page of her post to her father, she does the exact same thing again, where she copies a, another article that she found online. I don't know if she just Googled uh, absentee father quotes or what, but again, this is the second one, and this is what she copied. And then on the second page of her post to her father, she does the exact same thing again, where she copies a, another article that she found online. I don't know if she just Googled uh, absentee father quotes or what, but again, this is the second one, and this is what she copied from the... Okay, so that's just a little background to catch you up on who Danielle is. I mean, other than the fact that she's also doing sponsored posts for Fashion Nova and for Bang Energy, even though she is way too young to be advertising any of those brands. But the thing that I want to talk about today is the fact that she has a app so I didn't even know that she had an app out until Danielle tweeted out, the Danny Khan app is not ran by me or my mother, so please delete. They are scamming and taking your money. I have no access to login. When I left my old manager, they logged me out. I am so sorry to all of you. Love you all. And to that tweet, somebody replied back with, so you knew this for how long and only now it's getting more popular and more people knowing about it due to Messy Monday? You're talking about it. Your fans spent hundreds slash thousands on this. And I would have to completely agree with this person. As soon as you left your management team and noticed that you've been locked out of this, you should have instantly made a post about it telling people to stop um, downloading it, to stop spending money on it, whatever. Because if you didn't have access to it and you're not getting the money from it, 
then why would you not have tweeted out right away to put an end to it? So of course I had to wander over to the app store to take a look for this myself. And what is the first thing that I noticed about it? You have to be 17 years old or older to be able to download and use this app. Even though Danny claims that she's 15, even though we all know that she's 13, even if she was 15, she wouldn't even be able to use her own app because it is age restricted for 17 plus, which makes no sense when most of her fans are between the ages of like what, 10 and 14, 10 and 16. None of them are even able to use the app either. So I find that very interesting. And then as you scroll down further into the information section, you see that the seller is Danielle's mom. It's under the category of music. Again, for some reason, it's for an age rating of 17 plus. It offers in-app purchases, so there's a way for people to spend money in the app. And it is copyrighted Danielle Kahn. So it is copyrighted under her name. So unless she does not have the actual copyright to her own name, she should have the access to pull this down if she wanted to. And then from there, I went over to check out the reviews, and that's when things got even more interesting and even a little disgusting. So here are what the reviews had to say about the app. Hey Apple, do your homework. This is a 13 year old child. Her mom may allow her to lie, but you guys continue to allow it. You do realize old men are into young girls and get off on this? Where's your sense? In your wallet? Do not download this app. I downloaded it to see why it was considered 17 plus when Danielle is only 13. One of the first things I saw when I went to the fan feed was a naked old man. Absolutely disgusting. I don't care what age she says she is, that's unacceptable. This app needs to be taken down and gen charged. Do not download this app. It supports child exploitation. Would give no stars if possible. As soon as I opened the app, there were grown men off and more pictures of Danny and a 13 year old girl being sexualized. This app needs to be terminated and CPS really needs to step in and give Danny's father full custody and gen supervised visits. No child deserves to be exploited. I don't remember which button on the bottom I clicked, but it showed a feed of posts. The first that popped up was a full grown man on all fours completely naked. I was completely disgusted and deleted the app right away. I know a lot of Danny's fans are younger and this made me extremely disappointed. So if you are a parent, do not let your child get this app. Or if you're just thinking about downloading it, don't. I don't remember which button on the bottom I clicked, but it showed a feed of posts. The first that popped up was a full grown man on all fours completely naked. I was completely disgusted and deleted the app right away. I know a lot of Danny's fans are younger and this made me extremely disappointed. So if you are a parent, do not let your child get this app. Or if you're just thinking about downloading it, don't. And yes, you can argue that technically the app does say that it is for 17 plus, but first of all, Danielle is not even 17 plus, so she shouldn't even be involved in the app in any way at all. And second, all of Danielle's fans are young, just like she is, between the ages of, say, 10 and 16, so none of them should even be on the app anyways. So why is this app marketed as 17 plus unless it's trying to get money from older men who are interested in looking at very inappropriate photos of underage girls? And on top of that as well, you do have to pay a $4.99 a month subscription fee to be able to access anything that Danny posts or her quote unquote manager or whoever's running the app posts, even though it just posted her music video that she released the other day. So if she's not in charge of it and got locked out when her or when she left her old management, then why are they still posting stuff that she's doing now? She needs to contact them and say you need to stop if she's quote, not actually in charge of the app or get her lawyers involved. But the fact that her mom is on the name as the seller and it is copyrighted under Danielle Kahn, it really makes me believe that she is in charge of the app. Well, technically her mother would be in charge of the app, 
because since it's age restricted to 17 plus, I'm not really sure if she's allowed to be able to do anything with it. But the fact that her mom is selling an app for 17 plus posting pictures of her underage daughter on it and charging people a fee is absolutely disgusting and deplorable and needs to be investigated. But that is what I think about this whole situation. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Danielle is lying about not having access to the app? Do you think that her mother is running it? Do you think that her old manager is still running it? Um, do you think that she has the ability to shut it down but doesn't because she's still making money? Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!